All righty. Um, hello, everybody. Um, thanks for tuning in and joining uh, the Community Adventures info session. Uh, my name is Andrew, um, also known as Tops. Uh, we all have nicknames of First Ascents. Um, I'm the program manager um, here at First Ascents, and I uh, my main role is overseeing and managing um, and growing Community Adventures. Um, so first, um, I got kind of some intro questions just to kind of get the ball rolling, and then um, once we get through some of that uh, information, uh, we'll definitely be able to open the floor up for any questions anyone has. Um, so the first question, uh, super basic, just, you know, what are community adventures? Um, well, they're really just community meetups. Um, they're planned and facilitated by people within the community, um, that being the First Sense community. Um, and, you know, it can be anything from an afternoon uh, paddleboarding session or a weekend backpacking trip. Um, it really is just whatever people want it to be. Um, there's uh, I, lots of times people will ask me whenever they're interested in planning something, they'll, they'll be like, you know, what what can I do? And it's, well, what do you want to do? Um, I think the, the best thing to um, organize is something that you're interested be, um, in, because if you're interested in it, um, you're going to transmit that enthusiasm whenever you're um, helping people out um, doing whatever activity you choose to do. Um, <laughs> excuse me. Um, and yeah, it's just a really amazing opportunity to allow community members to connect in their own backyard. So oftentimes people go on FD programs, uh, you know, they go kayaking, rock climbing, surfing for a whole week. They meet all these um, amazing people, have a great time, and they return home and they realize, like, I don't have somebody, an adventure partner or someone kind of that gets it that's in the first sense community that's in my area. Um, and so they find themselves, you know, I'm motivated, I want to get outside, I want to keep the momentum going um, from my week long program, but I don't have anyone around here. And so that's where um, community ventures comes into play. It's that, you know, you have a whole entire nation um, of you know, little people scattered across the whole entire country that have gone on first sense programs that return home and they're in the same exact boat. They're saying, you know, I really had an amazing time on that trip. I want to continue outliving it. I want to continue doing things. And so they, um, you know, attend or plan community adventures. And that's a great way to um, get connected and stay involved with people in your area, um, meet people in your area that um, are also part of the first sense community and understand you know, a piece of kind of, you know, what you've gone through, your journey, um, and kind of where you're at. Um, and then another really awesome use case that um, is really popular for people is people that, you know, maybe haven't gone on a First Ascents week-long program yet. They're interested in First Ascents as an organization, you know, they're eligible, they're excited about things, but, you know, you got a really busy work schedule, or, um, you know, you're not comfortable going away from your family for, for a week um, or whatever, you know, other busy, busy life things happening, whether it's treatment or, um, you know, family or career stuff. Um, it's just getting away for a week is not a, um, you know, attainable or a realistic thing right now. Um, sometimes some people are just like, I just don't want to do it right now. Um, and that's totally fine. Um, but they're interested in, you know, getting away for a day or an afternoon. And that's a much more um, accessible timeline to just step away um, for an afternoon. And so that's another really awesome um, scenario that, that people you know, get involved with uh, community adventures. Um, another question is how do I get involved? So the first thing I would say for anyone wanting to get involved with First Ascents um, is if you haven't already, definitely submit an inquiry um, so that you're within our system. Um, and so what an inquiry is, is an official um, you know, application to join one of our week-long programs, even if you're not able to, you know, let's say this season, and it has, it's going to have to be next season or the season after, still just giving us your information, letting us know, hey, I am interested in this. Um, one, kind of gets you in line, so to speak, but also um, it gets all of your information into our system so that we know, um, you know, like, Sally May lives outside of St. Louis, Missouri. And so anytime that we have, you know, um, some sort of community venture going on in the St. Louis area, whenever we pull that report um, 
to promote it to people in the area, Sally Mae pops up and she gets an invite direct to her inbox. And so that's um, super important um, and really the first step of just getting involved with First Ascents um, is, yes, submitting that inquiry. And so that we have all your information, we know where you live, and we're able to send you um, invites and to, you know, local events that are happening in your area that are relevant to you. So um, you're not having to hop on, you know, the Community Ventures webpage um, every week and refresh and be like, I don't know, is is there a, you know, is there an event happening in St. Louis or not? Um, or, you know, we're not sending you invites for, hey, there's this great rock climbing event in, you know, Minnesota and you live in St. Louis and you're sitting there going, this is not relevant to me. So yeah, just filling out that inquiry um, is a really amazing first step. It gets you in our system and makes um, sure that you get the, the right invites sent your way. Um, I am gonna do a quick little um, screen share here just to show. All right, so I'm gonna move the tab out of the way. So here you go. Um, you guys should be seeing the um, Community Ventures webpage. Um, let me know if you're not. Um, and as you can see, there's a great little intro. Um, and so I guess first things first, to get there, um, just going on menu. Um, and then under community, first thing under community, it's under the community adventures um, link. So once you click on that, it takes you here. Um, you have, you know, the options to join or create an adventure. Um, and really the most, I think, helpful thing, you know, obviously there's a nice little intro and some, some basics about what community adventures is, but I think the most useful um, feature, and I think the main thing to really focus on is the map itself. Um, so for an example, we've got the actual community adventures info session, what we're on right now. Um, I listed it as Denver just because that's where First Ascent is headquartered. Um, but as you can see, you can scroll um, through the kind of menu of options of like what is stuff that is currently scheduled. Um, you can see the, all the different communities. It's also awesome to actually check out the map. Um, and then if you click on one, um, let's go check out what Portland is up to. So it looks like Portland is actually doing a rafting meetup here in a couple of weeks. Um, you have the location, um, you have, um, you know, what they're going to be doing. Um, and then if you go down here, you'll have a little bit of info about the event. So, hey, this is, you know, a somebody, Mark, um, aka Bodie McBoface, great nickname. <laughs> um, they're planning an, uh, you know, whitewater rafting adventure on the White Salmon. Um, a little bit of uh, background about it. Um, where they're going to be meeting up um, and just, you know, reminding, you know, everyone, this is, you know, fan, friends and family are always welcome to attend Community Adventures. That's one thing that's really um, cool about Community Adventures. It's a little bit different from uh, First Ascent's Adventures, um, or like regular week-long programs, is that anyone is eligible to attend. So it's a great time to bring along your family and friends. Um, and then RSVPing, super, super simple. Uh, just click on RSVP now. And then there's gonna be a form um, that just asks you to pick the event from the dropdown and put in the rest of your information. And that's it. Super easy. Right. Let's see what other questions and good stuff we've gotten here. Um, so that's really the best way to get involved is just like, like I said, submitting an inquiry um, as well as checking out the Community Ventures um, webpage. Um, another question somebody submitted is what kind of activities are popular? Um, a lot of times with Community Ventures, we tend to um, encourage people to do um, you know, activities that are free or low cost. Um, I think it's really awesome because then it just reduces the um, barrier to entry for things. Um, hiking is really our most popular um, community adventures because it's just, it's low key, it's relaxed. Uh, there's not a ton of planning. It's really just, hey, let's meet at this trailhead and we're gonna do this hike and, you know, show up with, um, with shoes and show up with a water bottle and go on the hike. 
And so hiking is definitely a super popular one. Um, another popular community venture option um, that's especially been popular this summer is like renting kayaks or um, you know renting paddle boards. Um, a lot of times you can rent you know some sort of watercraft at a, at a lake or reservoir pretty um, for a pretty affordable rate just for a couple hours. We get on a nice little beach day. Um, and so yeah, that's definitely been something that's been popular. But also there's been some some bigger um, events like we've had people do you know biking stuff. We've had people do backpacking trips. Um, we've had people do um, you know the rafting trip like we just gave for the example, um, which is pretty awesome. And um, yeah, so it's definitely um, it tends to be more you know intro focused and intermediate where it's pretty much anyone can join. But like there's also definitely people in the first ascents community that are excited about um, you know, adventuring and getting out there and getting after it. So, um, there's a whole host of different, um, of different event types. Um, and then how many people normally attend, uh, most community ventures have anywhere from, you know, maybe like six or seven on the smaller side to we've had community ventures that have like, you know, close to 40 people attend. Um, I'd say normally the range is, kind of that eight to, you know, 16 or so range um, is, is normally how big the group is. Um, and that's that I think that's a really awesome, you know, intimate with like, you know, you're not too overwhelmed with so many people, but at the same time, there is enough people to where, you know, you're not going to show up and go, oh, I know every single one of these people already. Um, so it's kind of a mixture of um, newness without being too too overwhelming in like a group of 60 or something like that which um, could be a lot um cool so that's kind of just some of the intro um information about about first sense community ventures i just wanted to uh open the floor up for anyone who is interested in asking a question or um, if it's easier feel free to just uh pop a question in the chat um and um, I will do my best to get you an answer. Hey, Hi, is, a couple. oh, go ahead. You, you sure? I'm, I'm happy to wait. No, go ahead. Okay. Um, Tops, I know that we talked about this previously. Um, I like we, I was trying to put together a, um, some, something that was in New York, but I realized that if I was trying to engage other folks with MS, it might require a couple additional um, things. And I wasn't sure where the cost would come from. And I didn't want to front the costs if there wasn't going to be some sort of um, like some sort of some way to, way to get the money back later. Um, I yeah. was specifically, specifically thinking about like travel, like being in New York, of course, it's, it's everything's still pretty compact, but getting people, even if it was just getting people like a few miles, I know for myself, I, I probably wouldn't be able to handle that myself. Um, and using a car would have to, it would come at it, I think a cost of like having to hire a cab or hiring somebody to drive you. Yep. Um, so I wasn't sure if there was any sort of um, compensation or like a, I'm completely forgetting the word right now. Um, yeah, but getting so, the money back after you paid it. But. Yeah, yeah. So um, unfortunately, kind of where we're at structure wise with community ventures, um, we don't cover any of the you know expenses uh, okay. related to a community venture. Um, that you know, it's really we're we're really um, post pandemic as we've kind of um, restructured some things. Uh, mm -hmm. We're really focusing on you know trying to get as many people out on our uh, free week long adventures, um, and community mm -hmm. ventures are you know, um, we're really trying to put the onus on our community as much as we can, um, just because um, I think there's a lot of people that are excited about um, getting together. And, and previously, whenever we did um, cover some mm -hmm. of those things with the, you know, trims model and other things like that, that are, you know, are kind of three, four years past, um, yeah. we felt a lot of issues with um, cancellations and a lot of issues with really, frankly, like things being really expensive, you know, it's, it would be, you know, organizing this big weekend um, event, and then you'd have, you know, maybe like 20 or 30% people cancel, um, because it was mm -hmm. like, oh, this is a free trip I can go on. And oh, I had some other plans pop up. And so then all of a sudden, it was when we just spent, you know, a lot of staff time, um, a lot of money organizing stuff. And 
you know, we only were able to, you know, maybe serve like 10 people or 12 people versus this mm -hmm. kind of allows us to be a little bit more flexible. So yeah, that, that is um, definitely a tricky, tricky one that, that I think we could maybe work to figure out a, mm -hmm. a creative solution for you, but yeah. Yeah. I, I definitely like, I feel like there in understanding that maybe in a moment would be part of the community with that would be dealing with the same like ambulatory challenges so mm -hmm. there was just a way that like we could communicate together and not make it like everybody's concern instead being like the people that will that need to know can need to know yeah but we definitely. can figure out that uh, separately yep definitely definitely and yeah there's a lot of like one-off cases and stuff that i've been able to work with people um on just figuring out you know whether it's like something as simple as just, Hey, there's, you know, a handful of people I'm actually doing it for one of our events right now, where it's just figuring out like a, a ride for a couple attendees. Um, and we're, you know, organizing carpools and stuff like that. So I think the first assistance community is definitely, um, excited to get together. And with that, there's a lot of people that are um, willing to be helping, um, and on lend a helpful hand. So we can definitely, uh, yeah, try and figure something out for you. Cool. That my my profile photo is from my first descent. <laughs> nice, I love it. Awesome, uh, Brittany. I think you were up. Yes. Hi. Um, I have two questions. The first one is, um, as far as you know, money. Like, is there? Do you have a script or something that I could email to someone to ask for? Like, hey, is there a discounted rate? you know, something like that, that you guys have, I, I just don't want to reinvent the wheel if it's already there, you know? Yeah. Um, we don't have a, um, a script, um, specifically like typed up for that. Um, that is something that, um, we're potentially working on kind of waiting on, um, I have to, full disclosure, I have to, you know, get some stuff cleared by, um, our operations team and our legal team, um, on, um, just with tax law and all kinds of fun stuff like that um, on like what counts a donation. And yeah, I won't get into it here, but, um, but yes, we can definitely um, talk more about that. I think um, honestly, I think with the best route to go with that is just reaching out to, you know, whether it's like an outfitter or a guide or something like that. And just, um, you know, explaining the situation, just being like, Hey, I, um, you know, went on this trip of First Ascents. Um, they're an awesome organization, like obviously name drop us if you want, like if that's helpful and, you know, send over a website so that they can see, um, you know, hey, this is a real organization that does this really amazing mission for real people. Um, and then just simply asking like, hey, like, you know, would, would you be able to um, offer some sort of group discount um, and, see kind of where that goes. Okay, that sounds good. Um, and then do you guys have any like stickers or like any any merch that you send out for these um, adventures at all? Um, yeah, we definitely have um, stickers, a handful of other cool stuff on the First Ascent store. Um, we haven't um, been sending anything specifically out um, at this time with Community Adventures. Um, it's definitely something that's like kind of more on a case by case basis. So like if you, um, are planning something and you'd really like, um, to give out some stickers and stuff like that, we're definitely happy to, um, to send some stuff your way. Um, but yeah, we, it's, it's not something we've been doing like across the board, um, if that makes sense. Okay, great. Thank you so much. Yeah, of course. Awesome. Um, any other questions from anybody? Has everyone already been on a community venture that's on the call? Or are you all um, just like interested in learning more about them and kind of something that you're planning on doing in the, in the near future? I haven't gone yet, but I'm looking forward to doing it soon. Okay, cool. Yeah, same. I haven't been on one yet. Um, I've, I've been wanting to plan one. I just got back from my climbing trip uh, August 25th. So I'm eager to to get back with the FD community. Um, and I wanted to plan one at one climbing gym. And I'm so glad that I went to the gym myself last night just to like 
do a climb and I'm like, this is not right for FD. So I'm so glad that I kind of checked it out first. Yeah. Um, so I want to go with a different gym for sure. Cause it just has more opportunities for beginners. Like this place you have to, mostly you have to belay each other. And I'm like, that's not good for beginners. So yeah. I want to go somewhere that has top ropes. So I'm glad that I did that. Definitely. Definitely. Awesome. And Maya and Wiki, it looks like you guys haven't been on one. Okay, cool. Wiki, is, is that your FD nickname? Did you go on a on an FD program? Yeah, um, I went on a whitewater kayaking trip last year. Okay, cool, sweet. Um, and I'm curious for everybody, have you all, um, do you all feel like you've um, heard pretty regularly about community ventures? Um, or is this something that, you know, you feel like it's only popped up within the last, like, you know, two months, six months. Um, and it's always helpful for me to talk to people within the community and kind of understand um, how how aware they are of things, just because, um, you know, you all, after all, you are the community that, you know, we at First Sense are trying to serve. So. I think that there, oh, sorry. Go ahead. Um, I was I was saying that I think that there were at the very beginning at least from talking to my fellow participants and we were we realized even if we were we were in different geographies it was hard to get a sense of what was actually happening within our own geography so when I was from New York when I was looking to see if there's anything happening around New York and there, there wasn't anything going on so I wasn't sure if that like do we just historically not do anything or is this like, like a is this just that there's nothing planned yet? So it's not on, on the, the map, if you will. Yeah. Yeah, I think that I'm, I think I'm seeing more stuff in the area. Maybe it was just like seasonally, there wasn't a lot going on in the winter or anything, so. Yeah, yeah, I think sometimes it just, um, it also just takes a community having one or two people that are really excited about stuff and step up and, and lead. And I think um, that, you know, Full disclosure, I thought it was hilarious and it blew my mind that New York City hadn't had anything until, you know, halfway through the year because of the yeah. fact that New York is actually a pretty, um, you know, historically for First Ascent has been a pretty active market. Um, mm -hmm. And it just kind of happened to work out that, you know, the usual, you know, leaders and people that were excited about um, making stuff happen just had, you know, had different life stuff going on or were busy and just hadn't mm -hmm. planned anything. And so then, yeah, it definitely looked... Um, you know, a lot sleepier than normal. Got it. Okay, that that clarifies. Wiki, you were gonna um, share something. Oh, uh, I haven't heard about it much, but there also has never been anything in my area, so I don't know if that contributes to it or not. Gotcha. Yeah, Las Vegas is is one of those um, cities that is big enough to where there's definitely a population, but so far I haven't nailed down. Um, you know, somebody to be, to be leading stuff regularly. So, um, hopefully that, and then obviously, um, your new spot that's, I don't know, we can hopefully, um, get some things going out there. And yeah, just, um, I think two, one thing that I've noticed just from my role is this, as you know, first sense has kind of evolved. Um, you know, I've been at first sense for um, six and a half years now. And I remember whenever I first started, um, Facebook was really, really active. And that was something where there were community Facebook groups for different areas and people were pretty active on there. Um, but just as the times have changed and people's interests and other things like that have changed, um, I definitely noticed that it seems like not as many people are just using Facebook in general. And so that kind of was our you know, default um, kind of community building tool. Um, if you will. And um, so without that, you know, without people using that and being active on that, there isn't the same um, kind of like what you were talking about, Robbie, the same, like, you know, just you click on something and you easily go, oh yeah, there's a bunch of stuff happening. Um, and so um, that's kind of partially what the, what the goal of the, the community ventures map um, is. Um, to kind of show different things that are happening. And that's definitely something that we're aware of at First Sense and working towards building um, in next year, um, figuring out how to um, give the community a really awesome platform to connect on. 
but um also on the website and things like that like it's what at least currently once you once an event happens um it drops off the map and you know you robbie you're trying to see like oh what's going on in the new york city area you just see is there something planned now you currently you don't actually see the things that have happened um in new york city recently so um that'll be something we're we're looking to to add just to kind of um sh better encapsulate the history of things and show um the different um events that have taken place so i have a question yeah so do you have any kind of like because there's there's different kinds of the ft trips right and i was on an oncology trip but mm -hmm. I wouldn't know what kind of, you know, like based off what Robbie was saying, what kind of needs or things I need to consider if I was planning something for, say, the MS to make sure I'm being inclusive of the MS population as well. Right. So like, do you have any kind of guidelines or suggestions or anything for people like, you know, like how to plan a community adventure 101 or something yeah. like any kind of documentation? Yeah, so um, right now, um, you know, whenever someone signs up um, to go on an event, they can kind of let us know if they need any special accommodations or if they just like have anything of note that they kind of want to tell us about um, that they're working through, whether they're going through treatment or, um, you know, maybe somebody uh, from the MS community that's like using a scooter or, or some sort of walker or something like that. And so, um, I mean, I think the, the best um, way to do it is just, I encourage people that are planning community ventures to um, do stuff that um, is just like, is definitely more, um, more focused on the community. So like, obviously, if you're going on a hike, you want the experience of going on a hike, getting outside, walking through, you know, a forest or looking at a view or something like that. But also it doesn't need to necessarily be the 10 mile strenuous over rocky technical terrain that is going to wipe out everyone. <laughs> it can be um, literally just like a mile or two loop through a local park and, um, and kind of anywhere in between. So um, I think um, we don't have, with community ventures, I'm, I don't want to put like certain parameters around things. Um, and whenever people have accommodations, we just kind of work on a case by case basis. Um, we're also kind of still growing and building. So like that might change in the future um, with right now, just with the numbers we're seeing, we haven't, um, there haven't been enough people to, um, you know, really like implement some hard and fast um, guidelines, if that makes sense. Um, and that actually just reminded me of one thing I didn't cover earlier. Um, so, so far this year, um, we have seen some really exciting growth with um, community ventures. Um, last year, um, mostly in Q3, Q4, um, um, so the last six months of last year, we had uh, about 17 or 18 um, events, um, and they hosted about 100 people came out to them. Um, and then this year, uh, we've actually so far year to date, um, we've had 60 events happen, um, six zero, which is a ton um, and super exciting. Um, but then more importantly than that, we've actually had um, over 600 attendees um, come to the community ventures. So all of the all the meetups have been really well attended this year. Um, and it's, yeah, it's just super cool to see that many people coming out um, and connecting with their local community members. Out of that 600, um, about a half of that 600 is first sense alumni, so people that have gone on a program um, and, um, you know, and now are interested in connecting with the community. And then about a quarter of that group is, you know, prospects, so people that are um, eligible for first sense programs but haven't yet attended one. Um, and then the last quarter is kind of just the catch-all non-alumni. So, um, you know, partners, family, friends, um, and just kind of anyone that doesn't um, fall into one of our core um, populations that we serve on our programs, but is, 
you know, supportive and, and coming along um, on one of our trips. So that's another cool thing that First Ascents allows is that um, through community ventures, you're able to bring your family, friends, partners, um, loved ones, anyone that you want to join in, um, that, which is unique given that um, our First Ascents week-long programs don't allow four plus ones. So, yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you all for joining. Um, anybody have any last second questions? Cool. Well, um, I'd love to hear from you all after the fact. Um, if you would like, um, you know, one, if you have questions that pop up um, and you want to answer, definitely reach out. Um, or if you're interested in planning something in your local community, whether it's this fall or even early next, uh, you know, next year in the in the uh, the winter or spring, uh, definitely never too early. I've had people reach out a year before uh, because they were putting together, you know, a, a kayaking clinic over the course of a few days. So um, definitely feel free to reach out. And uh, the best way to get in contact with me is to email me at community at firstdescents.org. Um, that is, and I'll put it in the chat as well. All righty. Uh, have a good rest of your week and enjoy your weekend. Take it easy. Thank you. Thanks.